Yo, we are live. We got an emergency live stream today. We're going to be looking at GameStop. It is pumping well over $300 while Bitcoin is dumping under $30,000. Do we have something to be worried about? We're going to get into that in this live stream. Of course, what am I buying on this? La la lovely dip. So we'll get into that. But what's the first thing we do when we get into these live streams? We've got to share the live stream. So if you're just tuning in, we're going to hang out a sec. We're going to share this live stream and we'll get right into it. So let's go copy, bam. I'm gonna head over to the discords and uh, add everyone. Emergency live, live stream. Bam, we're gonna paste that bad boy right there. Send, bam. We're gonna answer Mitch's question. Um, learn more at the live stream. Bam. Okay, so we got it there. Now, of course, we got to go over to the tweeters, get our tweet out there. We got it sharing. So if you're just tuning in, feel free to say hi. What's going on? You know, are, are you concerned right now with the market? You know, what uh, got like, or, or are you excited for a great buying opportunity? Let's refresh this since the last time. I mean, it's a, it's a nice sea of red. Like, what is going on? But as we know, in bull markets, these seas of reds, they don't last that long. They do not last that long. So... You know, what should we see with this one? Um, you guys have any questions, like I said, just ask. And, and if you tune in new, smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest in the crypto space. So as we can see with GameStop, I mean, wow, just pumping $300. I mean, just the other week, it was, you know, back down 20 bucks. I mean, massive gains were made. You see that, that big gap right there? So, you know, it's because of the open and close of days. You know, since the stock market closes, you know, it opens, you know, because silly stock market. Why, why, why do you close? We have head school leaving saying hi how, like how's it going it's so nice to see you back here do you mess with stocks and crypto or just crypto but yeah so just like checking out uh you know bitcoin bitcoin you know it's fell down to there we did not want to see that maybe we will get you know nice wick because we still have eight hours and 56 minutes we have vip cash you're asking grt a buy Let's uh let's check out GRT, you know the good old graph, forty seven cents. So how are things looking? Okay, so we got a massive high, higher low. We have a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low again. Then we made a higher high, now we have a higher low. Currently we just made a lower high, so that's not good. But I mean right now forty seven cents. If you if you believe it, like in the future, if if, if you have a long term hold position, it's definitely a great buy. In the short term, we'll what we'll, we'll to see exactly how like how this plays out, but we definitely have some support right here. I like the forty-seven cent region, you know, especially falling back down a little further there. We like we, like we should hold, but you know, looking at Bitcoin, going going back to Bitcoin's chart. I mean, twenty-nine eight. 20, so let's see. That's a, you know, let's see what's going on there. You know, we like we did fall below that that region right there. Uh, and then Dismon D is file. And uni still a great buy. I mean, with Filecoin, it's at twenty one bucks. I definitely believe twenty one dollar Filecoin is definitely a great buy. And you have Uniswap currently. I mean, it's at thirteen dollars. It's all time high. It's very close to thirteen bucks. So I mean, great buy. I mean, it's still pretty high. So we may see more, more of a correction. But Filecoin has been one of those sleeping, sleeping giants right now. It's 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 you know it looks bad because I really do think this thing's going to break out and make some massive, massive, just massive gains. And we got Wolf Wolfidy. You said hello again. Hey, it's nice to see you back here. And Heat School leaving. He said, I don't own stock. I find it weird that they closed. Yeah, it's, it does suck that they closed. You have to be aware because then there's open, there's after hours, maybe four hours, all that kind of. It's like why, why not just stay open? But I guess you know Wall Street can't can't handle it 24/7. Ooh, look at XRP down at 24 cents, testing some major resistance. I got some bullish news on XRP. We we may uh, reveal in the future. Look at DNT. I mean, some ooh, just falling back down to some support right there. The the ten cents, you know, nine point five cents. Wow. And then Wolfie, you, you, like you said, I now um, receive point seven five polka dot twice a week from polka dot and a, and a smaller amount from Cosmos staking. That's awesome. Co like co congratulations, you make some money from staking. It's what I like to see. And if you're just tuning in here, make sure to say hi, smash that subscribe button to stay uh, to stay up to date in the latest and greatest in the crypto space. So. 
what's going on? Are, are you guys in GameStop? You guys buying Bitcoin? You know, what like what am I buying? What am I looking at buying? We, we definitely have some great opportunities here right now. Stay Smoking says, what's up, homie? How are we doing? It's so nice to see you back. And I know in previous live streams, we mentioned about a possible crypto enthusiast chat. I'm definitely working on that. That's going to launch the beginning of February. So um, stay tuned for that. I just need to pull up a calendar. Yeah, stay tuned for that. It's definitely going to launch very soon, but it's going to be in February. So if you're into that, you know, you got to stay up to date on the crypto space by the crypto homie. Check, like, check out the videos um, the first couple days of uh, February. And then Wolf, you said, why is everything going down right now? Will everything go back up? Well, we like we can check that out with Bitcoin. There's there, like there's like a head and shoulders going on. And you said, uh, Ziad, you said, what's up, man? I'm buying Elrond. Hey, you buying some nice altcoins? It's what I like to hear. It's nice to see you back here. So let's bring back Bitcoin. So we're kind of working on a head and shoulders here. Oops. Up to 12 hour. We'll see if this plays out. I mean, it would be great if this would stay right there because I mean, th this week to this week's a little higher, and then this one would be higher. But we still have tw uh, eight hours, basically nine hours left. You know, see, see what happens. We have RA, homie. You said, uh, why ETH? Why ETH? What's going on with ETH? I mean, I think ETH's definitely bullish. It's at a ooh, look at ETH. Oh, you're asking why it's down so much, but look, that like that's still not bad at all, though. $1,231, that's what I like to see. Oh, you said, why the ETH BTC is going up when BTC is going down? Well, I mean, BTC is just going down more. But yeah, in the short, like basically in the short term, like with Bitcoin, it's not looking good right now. And like I mentioned previously, we look like we were having a high, lower lows and high and lower low, lower highs. So that, that was not like, like, that was not looking good as well. So what do I think about Litecoin? Do you think it will hit all-time high in 2021? Oh, I mean, I definitely believe all altcoins are going to hit. Well, let's say like 90% of altcoins are going to hit all-time highs in 2021. I just think, you know, with the altcoin season on its way, it's just going to happen. And then Ziad, you said, always try to be in your live stream, man. Hey, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you tuning in. Andreas, uh, you said, uh, you thought it was way to 1140? Ooh, look at Bitcoin just keep going down. To 1140. I mean, 1140 would be approximately. Let's just draw a line to make a nice visual. 1140. It's right here. It's like right there's 11. Ooh. Right there's 1140. Do you think we'll fall, fall fall back down to 1140? I mean, it's possible. I definitely see why you say that level, but I, I'd be interested to see if Bitcoin would fall. Let's see where is it at. Somewhere, maybe we'll see something like this. Oops, I don't know why my mouse is being weird right now. I do apologize. Cool. Maybe we'll see something like in that region first, because you know we we definitely have some battling you know here 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 with the daily candles, and then we held it as support right there the like one thousand one hundred and like ten dollar region. Be cool to see what goes on there. And then Ziad says, I think it could go down to 26K. Well, one of those things in this video that I'm gonna mention what I'm doing, I have a buy order in for 26.5. So 26,500 bucks, I have a buy order in there. I'm just uh, have some bucks laying there ready to buy the nice sweet dip if we get a nice flash crash. Because so I don't think it's gonna stay down long, but uh, definitely have the buy order in. And you can learn how to do that down in the description below of all my videos especially this live stream right here. So we'll go check it out. Bam, let's pause it before. And then you just go down here, you got your free template. Definitely check out your free video to save terrible co like Coinbase fees. Sh shows you how to put a limit order in. Definitely check that out. Um, Cause then you can put a limit order in and then buy the nice dip without even having to be on, you know, like your phone. And then Vega, you said API three is, a, is it like, is a good buy. Well, I haven't checked out the price today, but it probably is at a, a better buy than yesterday. And my thoughts about VTM, I don't know anything about VTM, Mr. Boo. Let's head over to VTM. Oh, Phantom, okay, actually, I do know about Phantom. I just forgot that that was a ticker. It's up 26% today, made some massive buys. 
But it's kind of like with GameStop. You know, GameStop's up, up pretty well today as well. Do you want to buy when it's you know, like going up really high? Probably not. So you probably want to buy low, sell high. Like right now, Filecoin's looking mighty fine. Very under the radar kind of coin. Ethereum, I mean, for, it's down a little bit from all-time high. So, you know, let's see what happens. And then Crypto Boss, you said, did you see the, the GameStop wrapped ETH? Yes, I did. I have that chart right here for you guys. Look at the GameStop wrapped ETH right there. And then Vega says he, he's going to transfer his ETH to API because he believes he'll get a better profit. Good luck there. And James, what's up, homie? How we doing? So nice to see you back. Yeah, and those fees on Uniswap are a little rough right now. So, yeah, th yeah this right here is some GameStop wrapped ETH. Guys, please don't buy it. This is probably just a scam. But I thought it was funny when I was looking for the ticker on GameStop. I was still under um, crypto stuff and this popped up. I was like, I have to show you guys. I figured somebody would, pro like, would probably see it. I'm glad you mentioned it, Crypto Boss Andrew. Thank you. Uh, Toffer Lee, you got a, go a great question. Will DNT hold the 10 cent region? Well, of course, we got to pull up the DNT chart. We can't just can't say, say something without seeing seeing the chart at, like price action. So as we can see, let's make some little adjustments. Let's go grab a handed dandy. I don't know why my mouse, like I said, it's being weird. It must be the mat it's on. Got it like a mouse pad, but it's like not, not working out. So we got a nice right in here. It's actually been holding kind of like this. Okay, why is it doing that? Holding kind of like this, if you can, especially like right there. You guys see that's it's kind of like a, like an incline right there. At the same time, we are also making lower lows though. Uh, Crypto boss Andrew, are you going to post stuff on your Patreon? I saw you raise the like the price. Well, actually, you probably I didn't realize I had the 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 one published, um, because that's not that's not coming out until. <laughs> So I said that that's not coming out until February. So you scroll down to the Patreon. Right now, it's still just the one should be available. Um, yeah, still still just the one available. My my memberships, yeah, tiers. Okay, you can see maybe after the log like I I have to log out. Cool. Let's see. So if I go here, yeah, right now it's just one of them. And uh, there's gonna be something else releasing. Yeah, yeah. It like you said, it was five bucks before. Yeah, it's still like it's still five bucks. There, there's gonna be another one, but this one's gonna have uh, a lot more features. And yeah, you definitely don't don't wanna miss that out. Go, going to release that at the beginning of February. So it, you know, definitely wanna check that out because I realized that for some reason, if if you buy into it now, they'll charge you at the beginning of February, and I don't wanna release it now because I don't want people to get charged the very end of January and then charged again February 1st. I like, I don't want that. So we, we will go from there. And then, uh, a crypto boss, Andrew, th there is no $14 one. That, it, like it's just five bucks per month. That's all I have right now, but definitely stay tuned. But, uh, you know, stay tuned for what's coming in February. It's definitely gonna be exciting what, what we can build you know, behind the scenes, you know, especially if you're one of those crypto enthusiasts that's serious about crypto that, you know, wants to learn from the best out there. I feel like it'd be great. So we have Matt Norris at GameStop. I'm so out of the loop. What is this? So GameStop, like the GameStop um, stock has just been pumping. P p people have been buying it like crazy. It's up at like 300 bucks just a couple of weeks ago. I mean, back in December, back at $20. So this thing has gone nuts. I, 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 I like I know some people that have made some bucks from it, but I uh, just hang in there. This is m massive parabolic moves. Definitely a great time to just sell your profit and buy some Bitcoin on this lovely dip. Because as we, we were talking about DNT, do, do I think it's going to hold the 10 cent region? I believe it will. Based off this right here, we're, like we're, sli we're making slightly higher lows, slightly, as long as we hold this right here. And, and that would be great to see. So DNT is one of those high velocity coins that I'm super uber bullish on. In 2021 and then heat school even said get the likes to 20 yeah homies likes to 20 is it's a nice free way to support the channel and I just tune in I really do like I really do appreciate you 
And then Andreas, you said, what do you think about IOTA? New all-time highs this year. I mean, with all coins, yes. All-time highs for most all coins this year, for sure. I definitely believe so. I made it public now on my YouTubes that I believe the Bitcoin top will be in Q3 of 2021. All coins will top, you know, later, like after the... It'll top in Q3 and Q4 because things are not going to top at the same time as Bitcoin. It'll be before and after. Most of them will pop after. Mainly the following four weeks after the pop. So get ready for that. That's what, I, what I'm calling for. That's just based off the cycles, based off plan B, based off other indicators out there. And then we have Kumar. He said, what do you think about Reef Finance? Let's pull Reef up. I know I have Reef somewhere. I may have to delete it and add it again. I thought it was up here, maybe. Yeah, let's just delete it and we'll add it. Refinance. It's one of those lower cap cryptos, like DeFi plays actually. You know, it can have a nice high potential there. It's good on the daily massive dump. You know, we, we bottomed and then bam, we're, we're, we're coming back up, seeing if we can break through. You know, that, that 2.3 cents is very crucial uh resistance right now very crucial resistance so like we'll see what like we'll see what happens and a horo station said love from india well thank you so much for tuning in it's so great to see you here all right can you look at crypto fees here um wh like what do you mean fees like for exchanges uniswap because there's a video down in the description to learn how to pay less on f less fees from coinbase by using pro coinbase and i can pull up pro coinbase website just so you guys know so, so you guys don't go to the wrong website it's right here, pro.coinbase.com. Hit view exchange. Bam. Right, like right here, this Bitcoin's down a little bit. Not too cool. Something I forgot to do. I wanted to show everybody out there. Go, Please go get your free template to track crypto transactions in 2021. You, you, like you want to start the year right. Go from there. It's just a great way. It, it's, it's how I personally do it. You still need the official docs for tax purposes, but, th but this is a great way to see your transactions if you ever want to look back from multiple exchanges it's just so easy to see 100 free you know go from there and of course if you're interested in the private list that's still available i just started a new like a new sale go use the term bull run for an exclusive discount so you definitely don't 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 miss that, that like that list has the highest probability of coins listing on coinbase you know there's no guarantees in crypto only probabilities so guess what higher probability is better of course you know you definitely want to buy bitcoin when it has a 70 percent chance of breaking out than 10. so definitely check that good stuff out in the uh description we have a uh, kumar he said we are always in support of you homie thank you so much i really do appreciate the support it's so great seeing you guys back here um all right said overall fees transaction and smart contracts so like with ethereum they're pretty high right now they're definitely high but that just means it's being used as well um, you know, obviously, you know, if something like, like, like XRP or other cryptos out there that have way less fees. So, I mean, you know, it just depends what, uh, what blockchain you're using. We have eat your fish. What's up, homie? How are you doing? It's so great to see you're here. We got Michael. You have a, Hey, hey good morning, homie. Great video with DeFi dad. I got in December, 2017 too. Thanks for talking about the first big bull run and the years of bear markets in 18, 19. Good stuff. Thank you so much for tuning in and definitely check out the crypto DeFi dad. He's, a uh, he makes some good content. He's from like Romania, so English is not his native language. So just you know, just give him some some support because he he has a lot of knowledge in like in in the DeFi space. And then, Andreas, you said, do I have any open trades? Well, I did just mention I have a buy order in for Bitcoin at twenty six five. I want to see if it hits that you know very like on the very bottom. A, like a bullish trade is uh, something I was going to mention in a future video. But a little sneak peek, okay, to all the homies here in the live stream. This one right here. We have a bull flag forming, okay? And once it breaks this trend line right here, because this right here is, you know, resistance. This right here is support. If it breaks up here, things are going to go wild. I mean, I'm talking about a $50,000 Bitcoin or higher. So that's a future video. This is just a sneak peek of what, um, you know, it, like what, you know, it's all about. So, yeah. Any open trades currently just waiting to buy. I'm just waiting to buy these dips. Um, Filecoin is something I'm like, I'm about to pull the trigger on. I mean, th th like there's just so much. I just have to sit down. I mean, DNT once again, great buy down at 10 cents. Oh, it just looks great. 
but yeah, that's my like like since it's hard in America to you know to short stuff because all that stuff's on like buy bid and all those exchanges that we can't use, you know it's kind of rough. But uh, E.L. Fish mentions he says um, reef will be huge in Q2. I've been on that since under a penny, and he, he has he has a lot of it, and he's gonna make some massive gains is what he's saying. That that's why I like to see reef is definitely seems like it, it's a solid project in like in the DeFi space. So. You know, you, you just have to use the word hold. You just got to hold it. I mean, in crypto, it seems to work out. Cool. So so does everybody use the, uh, you know, like the Discord? Does everybody like the add everyone? I know previously people liked it. So I, I keep doing that just for live streams. So, and as always, follow me on Twitter, crypto homie, homie underscore crypto. And then Kumar said, in your opinion, homie, how much down Bitcoin can go? Well... I mean, I have a buy order at 26.5 because I think it could go lower than that. Um, like I see, um, based off the chart, I can see it go down to like 23 to 24. Not gonna lie, especially like down in here. This, uh, you know, 20. It's right under 23, and then right above 24. I could definitely see it fall down there and hold that support. But uh, we'll go from there. Uh, heat school leaving. You have a great question. A great question. Okay, you said. XRP is holding strong. Why is that? Well, I think this right here is something everybody thought with XRP that all oh, the SEC is suing Ripple. Things are going to be terrible forever. It's never going to work out. You know, people just expect the worst then. And guess what? It still comes down to charts. It doesn't matter about the news. Yeah, we did have massive crash with that. But at the same time, we also had a downtrend forming, you know, and people bought here but then you know things happen because pe people got scared people got really scared so just think about it. we fell down to crucial support down here you know we fell down way below 19 cents we held everything at 17 bounced up this is great if we break 24 cents i will be concerned if we don't break 24 cents i'm bullish on xrp there's actually some surprising ta that looks extremely bullish for xrp so just get ready for that and then EEL Fish says, add homie, patience is key. Yes, patience is key. That's why the term HODL was created. Just HODL, just hold on for like for dear life. Just wait. Yeah, so that's how, like how low I think Bitcoin go, like the 22-ish, 23. And then, you know, with, like with XRP, it's holding just because that's what it's doing. I mean, it's uh, it's holding that major support right there. And I I, I don't expect it to break it. I, I really do expect to see all-time highs this year for XRP. And just so you don't, and just so you know, that's well over three dollars. Tempted adverse. How are you feeling about ETH right now? I'm holding at the moment. Ethereum. I mean, I'm super bullish on Ethereum. I think this pullback is a great opportunity to buy. You know, I'm, I hold Ethereum long term. So, I mean, if you're scared about it right now, maybe you're a little over invested. Maybe not. Brandon Johnson, you U.S. based homie? Yes, I'm U.S. based. I'm I'm in the United States, so we have all those extra strict laws for in the crypto space. And if you're just tuning in here, new to the channel, you gotta smash that subscribe button. You know, stay up to date on the latest in the crypto space. And of course, if that like button's not smashed, what are you doing, homie? Smash that like button. <laughs> Brandon says, where can we grab those XRPs? Uphold, I think still, I think you can still buy it on Kraken. Guan, you said, what do you think about Flow? Kind of sounds like that um, Allstate commercial, Flow, you know what I mean? Flow is launching right now on Kraken, so it's something new. Got to check that out. Got to check out Flow. So Flow. So it sounds like it could could be a low cap Flow Pro. Ooh, is it, like is this right here? It is. Let's see. Uniswap. You said it's going to Kraken. Let's let's uh, find that like an official source. Racken. So do we see? Whoa, Flow is about to launch. This is 20 hours ago they announced it. That's a big move right there. And just to make sure it's the same thing that I was looking at. Uh, learn more. I, 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 like, I just want to make sure it's the same coin. FLO 
I mean, that's the coin that I saw right here at the flow. It has literally a three hundred thousand dollars worth. That's ridiculous. Or or like or is it this one? Preview only. So we have to figure out what flow it is. Does does anybody know which flow? Italian Psycho, it's nice to see you here. We got Brandon Ware. My toaster went off as soon as you said it. Uh, I guess flows on uh, Kraken. And then ask him about pinning on Cello Gold. I'm definitely bullish on it. Yeah. And then, uh, but back to flow. All right, flow. This is new. Flow. Uh, Pedro, you said, uh, hi, nice videos. Thanks for from Portugal. Hey, so nice to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And then Guan, you said, no, it's another one. So it has to be maybe, huh, interesting. It'd be cool if they showed us like what kind of, yeah, like like right here, they showed us the symbol. Oh wait, it it like it is the second one because look at that symbol and look at this symbol. It That's the symbol right there. So there's no information about it. We got Guan Pedro, he said, no, another one. I, I think it's this one, let me know what you, yeah. Oh, and it does say start trading for Dapper Labs flow on January 7th, 2021. That's what's up. And then um, Michael said, wanted to buy GRT again on the dip. Instead, went all in on Ave at 192 for six snap coins. I decided to hold Ave long term and even stake it. Do you have, have any staked coins? And will Ave hit 3K in 2021? I do have staked coins in Ave. I mean, I, I can see it easily hit 1,000, if not way higher. Z, hate to say it, but I called it. Chainlink is heading back to 16 bucks. Ooh, I mean, well, that's an excellent buying opportunity. Chainlink is $16. Great, a great buy. And we have... Shirag, if I'm saying that right, I apologize if it's wrong. You said, hi, Crypto Homie. Hi, it's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see everybody here. If you're just tuning in, smash that like button. Subscribe for more content, you know, from the host of Crypto Homie. So, yeah, it's pretty cool to see GameStop pumping, people taking those gains, buying Bitcoin on this lovely dip. Shirag just got some file coins at 2150. Good job. I, I, I think that's a great buy. Um, Z said, Uniswap is done growing and it'll be one year before you even have a chance to get anything back. Watch, the media says it's a scam now. Yeah, well, if the media is saying it's a scam, I think that's a great time to buy because the media is usually 100% wrong. And then we Tristan Lopez. Hi, bro. Do you have an opinion on O-Chain? Um, O-Chain, I don't think I've heard of O-Chain, so I, don't, I do not have an opinion. Um, but it's, it sounds kind of like a DeFi play, maybe. And Guan, you said uh, it's together NBA, UFC, and another big companies for uh, for this flow. Hmm, cool. K said um, Ave Uni holding strong. Yeah, they definitely are holding strong. Michael Maximus, you said, dude, Rob Powell is saying that something doesn't feel right in terms of the markets. Something feels off. Possible market crash. Do you think it could impact the crypto world? Yeah, I definitely think it could impact the crypto world. If we have a market crash, I mean, a great example as to why I would say that is if we go back to Bitcoin. Let's go to the weekly. Let's remind you guys, if you guys were not here back in March 2020, look what happened in March 2020 when everything hit the fan. Look what happened. We literally fell in one day. We opened here. We closed all the way down here. We fell 50% in one day. So yes, if stocks crash, if there's a liquidity crisis, yes, we are going to see a massive draw drawdown in the crypto space. It's not going to be just crypto. You're going to see gold fall, stocks fall, everything fall, except for the US dollar. It will go up because everybody wants it for some odd reason. So yeah, that's my uh, spiel about that. It definitely can go down. Z, yeah, the will artificially deflate Bitcoin to 19,000. Then you will be holding GRT and Chainlink and everything for two years. Um, I mean, it's definitely possible to see, but I, I really do believe we're going to have that uh, pop this year just because that's what the cycles are showing. Uh, Best Buy for Chainlink, like any thoughts? I mean, if it's really back down at $16, which it looks like it's at 20, I mean, it's at 20 bucks right now. It's, it's still above all time high. And Z says, I'm well familiar with how those scams worked on Robinhood, pump and dump. Yeah, you got to watch out for, for pump and dumps. But I definitely don't think that uh, Uni and Chainlink are pump and dumps, though. 
I don't, I, I, I don't think they are. There are pump and dumps in crypto, but Union Chainlink, uh, I don't think so. Oh, Ari says he meant zero chain. Zero chain. Let's go check out some zero chain. Ooh. Maybe it's actually like this. Zero chain. Yeah, ZCN. Ooh, 247 on the cap. One, a $46 million mark cap. Okay, okay. Where can we get this? You swap Biloxi one inch Bitfinex. It's on one inch. Uh oh, watch out. <laughs> uh, cool. Z says, I know everything crashes. They control everything from the top. They have the suckers like us blind for, for the systems. But that's what's in, in, like, interesting with Bitcoin. Are, are, are we really, you know, blind? You know, is, uh, I mean, I get it like right now, bit, bit, like Bitcoin can be controlled for, you know, a certain extent. But uh, it's kind of cool how they can't shut it down. You know, it's, it's still going to thrive. If it crashes hard, it's just a great buying opportunity. You know, th that's my take. And then Z says, with our money from no Q. Not sure what you mean by no Q, but uh, just let just let me know. Heat school leaving. You said the stock market feels like a bubble thing, like, like Tesla's makes no sense. Yeah, well, I mean, Tesla was very undervalued for a long time. Now I, th I think it's overvalued. But at the same time, though, they're working on some great stuff. And if it works out, it will be going crazy. And then Matic is moving with ETH today. That, that, like, that's nice to see, making some gains. And we're asking about what about FTM? It's Phantom, which I feel like we already mentioned this. I mean, it's making some massive moves, 31%. Yeah, we definitely talked about this already. Um, it's, it's making some moves. Z said that's why they launched GRT right before Chainlink. Yeah, it's definitely possible. And then I guess zero chain for like Ari says zero chain made a partnership with Oracle in 2018. It pumped the last year a lot. Hey, making those massive gains definitely cannot complain. It's currently just sitting under 200. Oh no, this is FTM. You said the zero chain. That was what four, I think 46 million dollar mark cap. I'm definitely interested in this flow though. Like when it gets launched, it sucks. You have to do wire transfers to crack in. You know, I like the ACH transfers. I think it's a lot nicer, a lot smoother. If you know what I mean. Um, cool, cool. Yeah, if you guys are just tuned in, uh, the pin chat is a free template to track your crypto tr transactions in 2021. Definitely check that out. You know, just make things simpler. What, what, like when you like want to look back and see, why did I buy this at? You know, all that great stuff. And Moan Edits, hey, it's nice to see you back here. GRT hit uh, 0.333 on 1-3-2021. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Mini, you said, what do you use to track your crypto all in one place? Like what, like to track the prices? Well, there's multiple places you can. I was using CoinMarketCap until they, they made you use your own, own account. So right now, I'm actually trying to find a new place to track all my crypto in one place. Uh, yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions, I'm, I'm open. But I mean, I definitely like, I have the Coin Gecko, you know, portfolio. I do use that. Um, it's it's kind of cool, but just trying to see what else is out there. Z said, I love the optimism though, but the head of the Bank of England said yesterday that you can't make money from nothing in this economy. And then Bitcoin is falling now. Yeah, but I, I I think paying attention to news though it's uh it's news is designed to put you in a fear state of mind. It's designed to control you. So yeah, so that's that. Yeah, I, Z, I, I do see what you mean by you know the elites of the world. What you're mentioning, you know the Rothschilds. But I mean at the end end of the day, you just got to focus on what you can uh what like what you can control. And you can control buying Bitcoin on a nice dip. We have load wait, like we have load back. It's so nice to see you here. You said short the banksters buy a GameStop. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Tempted adverse. You said I, I have not tried cracking wire stuff. I am in the US and it seems complicated. Well, it's just a wire transfer. It's just a wire transfer. But you have to get it initiated by your bank. It's just like uh, you know. I'm so used to ACH with Binance, US, and uh, Coinbase. And then iframe, you said, do you recommend to invest now in FTM? I don't know enough about FTM to buy. And I don't make recommendations. I just tell you what I do. You got to make your own, you know, you got to put on your big girl, big boy pants and make your own decisions. And then chat says, did Ethereum hit compression at 12.05? 
Let's see, where's Ethereum at? $1,242. You asked, did it hit? Oh, uh, this is the weekly, so we need to zoom in a little bit. Got to make some adjustments here, so just hang tight. Well, we know we did hit 12. Okay, so we did hit it there. That's nice to see. We bounced right there. So so far we still have eight hours and 23 minutes. We'll see what happens, um, and just go from there. Yeah, and Z, um, I definitely just think being optimistic and you know just trying to focus on what you can control will have, have, have like have better results. Because trust me, I got big into those conspiracy theories, and I just feel like it. And as as much as I believe in them, as much as I believe that there's a lot of truths in them, the problem is it puts you in such like this negative like pessimistic space that it's just not good for, for you. You know, it's just, it wasn't good for me at least. So just try to, just try to be like positive. And Z, you said later, thank you for the program running to work. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. It's, it's so nice to see you. I'll catch you in the next one. So Brandon Johnson, where are you keeping your XRP on Kraken? Uh, I, ha I have some on, I have to double check. I think I have it on pro Coinbase, maybe Binance as well. I have to double check that, but it's definitely on Coinbase. Um, I mean, because you can have it there, you just can't trade it. And you can deposit, you can withdraw. Or I think you can deposit, but you can definitely withdraw. Top long-term coins, you're bullish on. I mean, definitely Uni, Chainlink, Filecoin, The Graph. I mean, there's actually a lot. There's, pro there's probably too many, to be honest. I I'm so bullish on so many projects. I, I don't even have enough money to invest in all of them. And then Heat School Evens, there's a website that tracks how many times the media said Bitcoin would die. Don't worry. Yes, I know there is. There is. There is. Um, there's a website and it's kind of funny. It's died like, I think, three or four times today. I mean, this week. So we have CR. What's up, homie? Hey, it's nice to see you. K Paso, homie means what's up, homie. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for the future. I think that's Spanish. Um, I think I do remember QUE was what in a Spanish class, but, you know. Um, so nice to see you. And if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. And Pedro says, homie, what do you think about GRT and how much do you think can go? So how high can it go? I mean, I've made videos, you know, one to five dollars, possible a hundred dollars the graph, but realistically one to five bucks for sure, probably closer to the, to the two slash four dollar region in uh, 2021, but things go nuts. So we could see a $10 one. Who knows? It has a big social backing. So the graph could end up hitting 20, 30 bucks. It's just crazy. Obviously this is not financial advice. Guan, you said, see you, cheers. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. And then we have Jin. You said, next direction for Ethereum. Oh, I think we're going to be going up. I think Ethereum is going to be massively bullish. Like, making bullish moves. You know, because right here, we did have, you know, the higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Technically, technically, this is a higher high. So far, te technically, it's a higher low. So hopefully, we can spring back up, make some massive gains, you know, approaching the $1,500 region, $1,600, $1,700, maybe $2,200. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, you know, see, see how it goes from there. Hey, and just to, um, just to, like a question, do you guys like having the camera here? Do you guys like prefer if I, if I turn the camera on for a little bit and then turn it off? What's, uh, you know, what's your take on that? And then loads, you said API 3 and Acash, solid projects. I'm holding these long, these for the next bull run. Hey, we we definitely talked about API and Krash on some previous live streams. And we we popped up API a little bit today. K, um, oh, it's, it's at Acash. Acash Network, 277. I mean, this thing's with a $52 million mark cap. So with all season coming, this thing could easily 5x, 10x, see, see some massive, massive gains. If you're if you're interested, I mean, it looks like it's on BitMax, BitMark, and Digif, um, Digifinex, Big, uh, Bitthumb Global as well. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe it's on, you could get it on some kind of DEX as well. And you also said, you also said API, that's right, API 3. Let's pull this bad boy up right here. At 467, just under a hundred dollar million mark cap. So still, once again, you know, decently low. It's not like a billion dollars. And if you want to get this, KuCoin. See, it, it's on some more exchanges. A little bit more easier to get. So that's pretty cool. There's definitely a lot of interest in a API, and you know, like the K, the um, like that, like I guess you call it cash, a, like a cash. You know, 
Uh, Kai says, look at crypto fees. ETH is leading crypto in buys today in, in uh, seven days. Yeah, well, like Ethereum. Where do you guys go to see the fees? Because I haven't actually done that. I mean, at the end of the day, I I look. I just know Ethereum has some pretty high fees. Futures. There's probably a feature here. With what happening? No, I'm not seeing anything here. But I mean, we obviously know Ethereum fees are a lot higher. Like right now, it's kind of kind of you know sucks. And Load says with those projects that there's great teams behind the the projects with experience. Hey, that that's always great to see. And Michael says, homie, good setup for your screen to camera size. Good work. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the feedback. And, you know, once again, if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. So cool, cool. We're going to have, we're going to be ending this live stream pretty soon. You know, this is just one of those impromptu. I saw GameStop pumping. I saw Bitcoin dumping. I just had to go live to see what the homies were up to. What's going on? This is a preview for a future video. You know, what's going on? Are we going to break up? Because it's a uh, massive gains if we break to the upside. Right now, though, we definitely want to see if we pull that chart back up. You know, we're about to be testing the bottom here. I'd actually need to adjust this a little bit. Definitely test, te about to test the bottom out, see what happens, and go from there. Uh, Leron said, when am I expecting a bounce back? Well, I wouldn't be surprised to see us test this down here, like 28.6. I wouldn't be surprised. Like I said, I do have a buy order at 26.5 in case the worst possible case happens. That's just like a... Uh, by what I've had in for the past week or two since we popped down here. Excuse me, just to see like what like what like what will happen. But you just have to be patient. You just have to, like you said, give it a couple days. And um, let me just put this chart here because just get ready, get get ready for this. You want to pay attention to when I do this. Yeah, that 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 looks terrible. Um, if you see the monthly close close down really close to twenty nine thousand one hundred dollars, you know twenty eight thousand nine, that's not good. That's not good at all. Because um, you tell me what that candle is. If that's the case, yeah. Well, say goodbye to alt season. Let's just put it that way. So let me know what that candle is down in the comments below. Uh, Lativo, if I'm saying that right, what do you think about Celo? Like I said, with Celo, definitely bullish. Its own Coinbase. You know, it's it's one of those altcoins that probably going to make some massive gains. And then Kai said, much love and thanks for the crypto company. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, working on that exclusive crypto enthusiast chat with other features as well. So get ready for that. That's going to launch the very beginning of February. So you don't want to miss the videos the very beginning of February. Load said, much love from the boys at Wall Street Bets subreddit for pumping GameStop and sticking it to the man. Hey, that's what I love to see. I, I love to see the little guys, you know, just sticking it to, to Wall Street because, you know, there, there's a lot of corruption there on the street, if you know what I mean. So, you guys, we got, we got about three, three minutes left in this live stream. We're a little over 40 minutes in. Just want to just say thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you guys. Any last minute comments, just let me know. Put them in there right now and I'll, I'll answer them within the next three minutes. DNT once again, I think that's a solid buy. This thing's gonna have some massive moves, in my opinion. Obviously not financial advice. Let's adjust a little bit. Dot looking good at fifteen dollars. Wow, got some massive good buys right there. And then Kay just wants to remind you guys: don't be emotional, y'all, especially in trades. Yeah, you gotta take the emotions out of it. So we have some things up. I like to look at what's down. Theta, ooh, Theta's down. Last 24 hours, about 12%. Oh, look at Hair Dash Grab down at 8 cents. Ooh, that, that's a steal compared to the other day. Ooh, Engine Coin, 37 cents. Ooh, look at that. B Chain. Like I said, Polka Dot. Like, what's going on? Um, Brandon, why do most crypto vloggers void slash dismiss XRP so much aside from the whole XRP army? I think it's because you either get love or you get hate. I think there's a lot of hate. I, I, I like to talk about it, you know, just like I like to talk about every other altcoin. So I have no problem talking about it. And just for FYI, I think this XRP, uh, it's looking super bullish in my opinion. I know you either love it or you hate it. And you probably hate hearing that it sounds bullish. But it's, uh, it's looking good on the monthly. Let's just put it like that. 
I'll just leave that there, possible future video. And what do I think about Rook from load? Let's see, with Rook, ooh, 100 million dollar mark cap, 316, I've actually, oh, Keeper Deo, okay, okay. Markets, Uniswap, Hop It. I don't know much about Rook type to make an opinion, but at the end of the day, it looks like it's it, it's a DeFi play, so it's something I should probably look more into and see, you know, what's going on there. Because we have a, uh, let's just check like check out the website real quick. An another Dex right there, An like another Dex. I, I really did like that injection protocol. It, it just seems like there's so much competition out there for Dexes. It's like, which one's gonna win, you know? And Mini says, is Uni a buy right now? Uni, what's it at, $13? Uni, it's at 14 bucks. I mean, th this thing keeps approaching all time high. It's not really down at all. But like I said, when it broke seven bucks, this thing would keep going. It would go crazy, just like j just like it is. And then uh, load, you said open the website, great returns, no dex. Oh, so it's not a dex. It just kind of reminded me. It said connect your wallet. Oh, it's a liquidity provider. Okay. Ooh, interesting. So I mean, if you could own your own keys, that would be great. It looks like you can because you connect your wallet. Claim some rook, or just claim. Interesting. Oh, because like like the block rewards. Okay, okay, awesome. That's definitely something to keep in mind. I mean, if you guys are into being liquidity providers, you can definitely make some bucks. You know, so it's always great about making those good old bucks in in, in like in the crypto space. And then Michael, you said uh, TNT is nine oh six on the Coin Gecko. Used to be top twenty coins in twenty eighteen. Times change. Yeah, times do change. T times do change. You got to keep in mind. You know, because pe people are like, XRP is going to go to zero. Yeah, it's like times do change, but the end of the day, oh, 2.3 million dollar mark cap. I, I don't see XRP going down this low. But wow, yeah, times change, and that's a that's a very low mark cap. It, it could easily move, easily move. So it looks like we caught up with the questions there. I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning up. Just to wrap this video, like I said, I'm looking at some of the top alts, you know, DNT, Filecoin. All those great buyers around. I mean, Uni's not a great buyer right now. It's not really down, but Ethereum's de like is definitely a solid buy. Got a buy order in for Bitcoin. We'll see if it hits it. And as always, head in down to to the description below. Get get yourself your free template to track your crypto transactions. 100% free. This is how I track my transactions. Just helps me out when it, when you're on multiple exchanges. Of course, you still need the the regular docs for tax purposes. But this is just easy access for you to go back and just review what you did. And if you want to save some fees on those terrible Coinbase fees check out this video right here and just a friendly reminder i have that private coinbase listing guide with the highest probability of listing coins of coins that will list on coinbase and there's an exclusive discount for all you out there just use code bullrun in checkout so if you're interest, interested in that check that out of course and as always thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for smashing that like button i really do appreciate it and of course subscribing these live streams you know like the videos and if we ever get disconnected, I post all my live streams right here on Discord. So I go at everyone and put, and put um, you know, live. No other videos I do that to, just those. And if there's ever an issue with with uh, live streams, like the, the other day over the weekend, I my power kept going out. It's like, what's going on? So I'd be talking, all of a sudden everything turns off. So I still have access to my data plan like on my phone. So I just go right here on Twitter, say, hey, my power went out, you know, I'll be back up, you know, as soon as possible, basically just working on getting back up. So definitely, you know, look for that. And Tempted, you said, thanks for the stream. Have a good day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great morning, afternoon, day, wherever you're from, you know, and as always, not financial advice, just pure entertainment, educational purposes only. Smash that like button, subscribe. And until next time, the Crypto Homie is signing out. And the Crypto Homie will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.